Hello! Welcome back to Critical Rocket's Chassis Variant video series. Uh, we are jumping back with the Cicada 3F. Now, if you watch this in order, this one will have come out a little bit later, you see, in the sort of timeline of things, because the 3F was made available for C-Bills, and uh, originally the mech was added into Mech Online as part of the Customer Appreciation Program. If I think you'd uh, bought any, th any mech credits within a certain uh, time frame, you were given the 3F as a reward mech. And it was very popular. Now, uh, the background on the 3F is it's a 3052 variant of the Cicada that was introduced in the height of the clan invasion. And it was basically one of those situations where they just, you know, they want to show off all the new tech that they'd added for the inner sphere side of things. So it upgraded to an ELPBC, had an XL engine, ferrofibra, sendo steel, had the works. Strangely enough, the medium lasers remained the same, not pulse lasers, I don't know why, but. I guess just to have the amount of armor and jump jets that the mech had. Now on tabletop, this version of the Cicada could jump 240 meters, which was pretty fucking big. I mean, that, uh, that could literally just leapfrog across the table very quickly. And its equipment loadout was enough that it could do some pretty serious damage as well. Um, Stark-wise, it comes with an ERPPC and two medium lasers, so it makes it a bit of a cross of some other variants of the uh, stock Cicada. Now in MechWarrior Line, uh, it can have, I believe, a maximum of 12 jump jets. It comes with 8 as standard, which is already quite a lot, but I think it can have more. And its jump height is ridiculous. It can get up to some pretty high spots on the maps. Uh, examples are on places like Tourmaline, where you can really get on top of some of the, the highest uh, sort of... Uh, what was it? I forget what that crystal's called now. But, um, yeah, you can get on top of some of the really high crystal spires in there, some parts of uh, Grim Plexus, uh, Terra Therma, all these kind of locations could really, really do some damage quickly. Uh, now, the main problem with this mech being stock for me was uh, heat. ERPPCs uh, heat up cicadas very quickly, and the two medium lasers are a nice backup, but you can't really fire them one after the other. Uh, it's nice to have a mech at 40 ton with great speed and jump jets that can snipe, but it's not going to get many shots beforehand, even with double heat sinks. It, yeah, it needs more, basically. Um, now, if you're going to customize it, one of its main strengths is the jump jets, so although it's, it seems like a no-brainer to remove a few of the jump jets to add a heat sink or uh, maybe some extra weapons, uh, yeah, it's it's not really worth it. You want to keep those jump jets in, it's its main strength, and probably the thing that makes it the most unique. There's already a Cicada variant that has a PPC, so switching out to an ER in this game isn't really that big a, you know, doesn't really make it that big a deal. And XL engines and all like, well, who hasn't been running Cicadas of XL engines since the day dot when they arrived in the first place. So yeah, keep those uh, jump jets, in fact, probably add more if you can. Probably one of the first things you want to do is, yeah, probably dump the ERPPC if you're doing custom builds. It can have some pretty significant firepower laser-wise anyway um, that you can bring along. You can always switch it out for ER larges, which have obviously a much better um, setup there uh, for the kind of gameplay that you want, especially if you want to kind of a snipey mech that's more akin to certain Arctic Cheetah builds with the with the clan uh, ER Larges or um, God, there's no one's left my mind now. There's a, a Raven, I think, a Raven 3L can do it. Uh, even a Locust with its single ER Large. So those kind of snipey builds, you can easily do it. Probably a better job with this one because it's got more jump jets, it can get to higher spots, it makes it harder uh, for players to really react to where the shots are coming from. So, if you haven't added this to your Cicada collection, uh, either because, like me, you didn't uh, buy any mech credits in the year that they were rewarding it, or, well, you know, you uh, you just haven't got round to them, this is well worth it. Uh, also, yeah, this bit, I, uh, I fucked up, I walked into a wall. Um, yeah, so, it's definitely one of the more interesting of the Cicada variants to take out. Uh, it's still a very good mech. The Cicada is probably... Arguably one of the best uh, of the sort of medium mechs out there for scouting, roll, and uh, high damage roll. Because some of them, like I, th I think it's the 2A, has some like crazy like six medium lasers or six energy points. You can do a lot of damage with this thing very quickly. Also, apologies, it got really dark on this part of the map. Quick, I'm not quite sure why. But um, yeah, uh, Cicada 3F is worth picking up. It's one of the more expensive ones because of all the um, lost tech on board. 
but uh, you can make some pretty decent builds. It's even if you don't come up with a decent build for it, you just want to run it uh, just kind of stock. It's still a lot of fun. The jump jets do mean it can just sail across that map, and uh, yeah, you can have a good laugh of it. So. Uh, thanks for watching everybody, um, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next Chassis Variant video. Bye! Target destroyed. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Fuel at zero percent. New target acquired. Level critical. Heat level critical. Left arm critical damage. Left destroy. Heat level critical. Warning incoming missile.